Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome as you are coming in, those of you on YouTube. If you are on TikTok, you are welcome. Welcome to Mara Official. Amen, somebody. I want to welcome everybody on YouTube. I think we are still waiting for some people from the Facebook stream and also our other platform. Good morning, good morning. Let's just start sharing the live broadcast with our friends and those people who are on um our WhatsApp groups as well. If you are on the Amara WhatsApp group, please make sure you are making your way to the YouTube channel, Fortune L Online as well. Amen. The Lord is good this morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the start of a new week and we start all charged up. We are ready to see what the Lord has in store for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Fortune Online, I see you guys are already here. Awesome, awesome. Guys, let's begin to share the live broadcast and let's begin to tap on the screen. This is our 5 a.m. morning prayers, protocol breaking prayers. You have come to the altar that brings results. The altar that will break every single form of protocol in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We glorify you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome, Anna. I see you, Pinky. I see you. I see everybody who is tuning in also on Mara Official. You see me doing my hands like this. It's so chilly in South Africa. Let me know what country you're tuning in from. Let me know where are you listening to me from. Let me make sure that everybody can hear me very well as well. Um, hallelujah. How are you doing? Which country are you tuning in from? We are ready to roast the devil. We are ready for the start of the beautiful new week. Good morning. Good morning. Nest Diva. Thank you so much from South Africa. Anna is also from South Africa. Homo Zomorapedi is from South Africa. This is the start of the new week. And as you know, on this uh, altar of protocol breaking prayers, we charge into the week. We are still on the 31 days of grace and favor. And as we step in into this new week, we have to send forth the word. We have to make sure that our voices speak to the rest of the week. Hallelujah. We need to make sure that we make our declarations. We need to shape and create what we want our week to be in Jesus' mighty name. Tell your neighbor, where are you coming from? Oh, South Africa, Midrand, Miss M, Fadzi from Zimbabwe. I see you. Let's just begin to speak in tanks who else is here black jacks uh, from fer you are welcome god bless you this is the start of the new week oh let me see who else is here says i am from soweto hallelujah then my banner god bless you morning my darling pastor hallelujah god bless you god bless you i'm just waiting to see who else is on facebook let's make sure we are sharing tap on that screen you don't stop tapping you don't stop typing that amen hallelujah as i said when the week begins it is another new week to do what we could not do before. Hallelujah. Another week that we have to get what we have been asking God for. Another week to pray to God for answered prayers. Another week to ask for breathtaking miracles and testimonies. Make sure you are typing that amen louder so that I can know you are standing in agreement with me. Hallelujah. These prayers are not only for me, but they are also for you. Amen, somebody. So this is the week that you have been been waiting for. Maybe this is definitely the week and the appointed season and time that God has ordained for you. Hallelujah, somebody. I know that in this week, breathtaking miracles are going to take place for you in Jesus' mighty name. This is the week that you have been waiting for, for the long-awaited contracts that are needing to be signed by the investors. This is the week that the Lord is going to make sure you have the capital you require for your projects and your businesses in Jesus' mighty name. This is a week for somebody 
that is they are going to meet their partner their destiny partner in jesus mighty name holy spirit from soweto i'm still with you and the lord says i should tell you you are blessed and highly favored in the mighty name of jesus christ god is ready to answer prayers this morning are you ready to pray can you ask your neighbor uh, are you ready to pray if you are ready to pray if there is a man to pray if there is a woman to pray there is a god to answer talk to me hallelujah god is ever ready to pray to answer prayers we just need to trust him we just need to believe in him talk to me somebody hallelujah this is a new week this is another new week that we know that we, we may not know personally what will happen by human eyes but definitely this is a week that you should not be caught napping on your destiny this is a new week that you should not be caught napping on the future that god wants to release for you we can be confident of this very thing this morning that god who knows all things that god who neither sleeps nor slumbers he will definitely make sure that our week is protected in the mighty name of jesus christ god will make sure that every single evil arrow that flies by day will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil schemes of the devil will be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to those of you who have just joined us from Facebook and on YouTube as well. I see you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So this week, as we start the week, we started with protocol breaking prayers. We are commanding the week. Type, type in the comment section, commanding the week we are ready to command the week do i have people on my left and on my right who are ready to command the week do i have people who are ready to say every single scheme of the devil that has been devised in this week we are going to pray them away in the mighty name of jesus we are going to rise as watchmen we are going to rise and ensure that we command this week the bible says in the epistle of uh, john in the third epistle of saint john chapter 1 verse 2 to 5 he says beloved i wish above all things that you prosper and you become in good health. So good health is your portion in this week because the Lord desires it and, and wants it to happen in your life. He says, for I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee. Even though that you walk in the truth, this is the evidence that I saw. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, that you are doing faithfully in the name of Jesus Christ. So today, tell your neighbor, I'm ready to command my week. I'm ready to command my week. I'm in charge. I'm still on the 31 days of grace and favor. Very soon, we are going to be posting the video testimonies of what people have been experiencing. Grace has spoken. Protocols have been broken. People have been broke. You know, protocols. We saw yesterday. We saw a testimony. Somebody said my application was late. They lost my application for my master's degree. But I was called by the head of the department who said even though the closing day has been passed bring that documentation hallelujah somebody also who is studying also for a phd says my paper was not submitted and i was told that they will wait for me so all protocols have been broken qualifications where you did not qualify doors were open as you're already saying i am ready to command my week talk to me somebody i decree by the authority in heaven that you shall be favored this week in the mighty name of jesus christ you shall be favored in this week Every power of limitations that has been defeating you in the past will cease to have power over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do I have believers who are shouting a believing amen with me? Hallelujah. Thank you for those who are following the host. Thank you for those who are tapping on the screen. Thank you for those who are saying amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. This morning, I want you to know that as you type, I am commanding my week that you know that your path will shine brighter with the light that will shine brighter, brighter. You will not miss your step. You will make, God will make sure that your paths are not crooked. Your paths will be straight in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you a secret. Let me lay this foundation 10 minutes and I'm out and I'm going into prayers. 
the Bible says that death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. I don't know what is in your mouth this morning. I don't know what is on your tongue this morning, but there is a God who says that death and life are in the power of your tongue. So this morning, as you speak with me, this morning, as you are typing on the comment section, you release what you need to release. There is a word in your mouth. There is a word that heaven wants you to release with your own mouth. There is a word that the Lord wants you to command. I'm ready to command my week and I'm already commanding it in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God commands us therefore to exercise a dominating influence over something or people. So I don't know what is that thing you need to command this week. Is it a thing or is it a person? So this morning we rise on this PBP altar. Lord, we declare that we are dominating. We are in charge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have influence over the things that we will be in contact with. We have influence over people that we will be in contact with. You have put us in charge. It is time. This morning we rise to direct specific authority over those things that we want God to deliver for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare and we decree that we will determine the path that we will go according to the desires and expectations of our heart in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what you are doing this morning. As you are declaring that I am commanding my week, you are issuing military commands. We are in a battle, children of God. We are in a battle. We are in the military. We are issuing military commands. We are the superior officers that will determine with the authority that God has put on us. We are going to declare and decree as senior officers. You are in charge. You are the major general. Hallelujah. You have authority that has been given to you. Whatever it is, you are not a junior officer official in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who needs to take care of the logistics that need to happen in your life. There is somebody who is a destiny helper, who is in the logistical queue, who is in the trenches that is waiting to execute what you need. There is somebody who is waiting, who is been sent as an angel of destiny, who is going to make sure that they execute those junior officials that are waiting along the way. They are waiting for you as a major general to issue those commands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, Lord, we rise to command our week. We declare that daily, every single day of this week, we are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are children of God and therefore we are gods. We are dominating and we are in charge. Come on, somebody, decree it and declare it with us. Hallelujah. As children of God, we have been handed the authority to specifically command our days and we have been, ex we have been given the authority to command our week. You have the authority to command your year as well. Hallelujah. Luke 10, 19 says, talks about about the authority that has been given to the believers to command. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 says, tell us how bright the path of a believer should shine till the perfect day. So a child of God is not meant to be defeated. And I declare and I decree that in this week you will not be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your path will shine brighter and brighter in the mighty name of Jesus. Your light will shine brighter and brighter. Nobody can, can put you down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Koraba shondali we speak victory into our week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We command it, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do I have believers who are really ready to command their week? Are you commanding your week from wherever you come from? In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, we thank you. We rise this morning, oh God. We rise on Psalm 68 verse 11 as you have commanded and you have said that you are going to load us daily with benefits. Father, we receive the daily benefits. Somebody receive your daily benefits that the Lord is sending your way this morning. The word of God says, as he says, I am the God who daily loads you with benefits. It means that this week will be beneficial to you. This week will be glorious to you. Come on, somebody. I said this week will be beneficial to you and this week will be glorious for you. In order to make the most of your week, you need to command it. Tell your neighbor, command your week. Make sure you are typing in that command section. Command your week. We must open our mouth and we must call forth those things, those benefits that God has daily loaded us with. You don't know what it is. Go and tell God, God, unlock every single benefit. My week is beneficial. My week is glorious in the name of Jesus Christ. I call for those things that I want. I call those things that I'm desiring from God. I call for those things that I'm expecting from God. I call for those things that have been set aside for me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I call forth health this week. I call forth wealth in this week. 
I call for the guidance of God. I call for the wisdom of God. I call for the prosperity of God. I call for the favor of God. I call for the victory over the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do I have believers who are typing and believing amen? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I rise to take responsibility by opening up my mouth. God is filling my mouth with the commands of this week. God is filling my mouth with favor in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree throughout the whole of this week, I will speak the right words all through this week from Monday to Sunday. I will not miss my step. I will not talk negatively. I will not talk negatively against myself or the people who are associated with me. I will not take negatively against my business. I will not talk negatively against my children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will not take negatively against my spouse. In the name of Jesus, I will speak the words that bring life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will speak life. I will not speak death to my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, anything that has been dead, anything that the devil has been seeking to kill in my life uh, without the authority of God. Father, I speak life. Let the flesh come into those bones uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that in this week you will speak words of edification in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The words that will come out of your mouth as we are praying now, as you are praying along with me, will be words uh, that will turn your hopeless situation into a hopeful situation. Whatever the devil thought was going to be a hopeless situation that takes you out, it shall not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you I speak greatness into your life. In this week, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the words that will come out of your mouth are the words that will turn non-entities in entities to great entities. You will not be a non-entity, but you will be a great entity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the power of life and death is in your mouth. And we release life into this week, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is how we will release forcible right words like Job. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I, I declare and I decree that the right words will force themselves into my life in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, situations that were meant for evil are being turned around for my good. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that your life will be beautiful in this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that God will empower you to command your week. Negative words shall not proceed uh, uh, from your mouth. Negative words shall not proceed from your tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are we talking together? Are we declaring together? Are we decreeing together? Are you typing that amen well? Every hopeless situation, Miss Emma, is being turned around for your good. It will not stand. It will not stand. In the name of Jesus, Father, we speak faith. We speak fear where there is fear. Faith where there is fear, rather. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we do not move with the spirit of fear. We do not stand in fear. We do not have any doubt in our heart. We believe the word of God. It is completely unadulterated. It is completely going to work in our state in the name of Jesus. The words that I will utter this week, the words that I'm uttering this morning will not fall to the ground in the name of Jesus Christ. They will carry my prosperity through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We speak faith, oh God. I declare and I decree that fear and doubt are definitely going to come to nothing in this week in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not fear, you will not doubt in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, every form of fear, every form of doubt or of disbelief against God, it dies right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith will germinate. Faith will rise inside of you. You will manifest. You will manifest your expectations. Your faith will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody tell your neighbor, command your week. What are you quiet for? Command your week. Make sure you are typing that amen well as you stand in agreement, as you declare and decree with me. Talk to me, somebody. I have that same spirit of faith as the apostles and the prophets of the four times are. Hallelujah. That same faith is coming to reside on you in Jesus' mighty name. You are moving with the same spirit of faith as the apostles and the prophets, and so you speak. As they spoke, so shall you speak. As you pass, your shadow will bring healing to others. Whatever you say with your mouth this morning, 
on this protocol breaking prayer altar. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we release words of faith uh, that will bring us into manifestation of our God-given benefits this morning. We are taking uh, possession of our benefits this morning. Are you typing that amen well? Are you making sure that you are tapping on that screen right now in the name of Jesus Christ? Father, we declare in the order of Proverbs chapter 16 that we speak pleasant words into our week. Our pleasant words go forth for us in this week in the name of Jesus. Pleasant words that is as sweet as a honeycomb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We release pleasant words that are sweet to the soul. We release pleasant words that are, that would heal the bones, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak sweetness to our soul. We speak health to our soul. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, that these pleasant words will enable us to command our week. These pleasant words are enabling us to be in charge. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, are you typing that amen well? Are you tired because the devil ain't tired? So if you get tired, you know who will be left in the ring. I know you want the victory and you are typing that amen well. Father, we speak into this week. We command the week. We are in charge. We are above and not beneath. Anytime you are greeted this week and somebody says, good morning, and somebody says, how are you? You say, I'm in charge. I'm sitting on top of the head of the devil. I'm in charge. I am sitting on top of the devil. I am sitting on the head of the devil. The devil is under my foot. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command our week. In the name of Jesus, whatever we command this morning and every single day this week, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus, in accordance with the word of God. Everything that is aligned to the will of God is coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rokoshonda, in this week, I will seek the word of God. I will seek the counsel of God. I will make sure that I meditate on the word and I am in charge. Somebody shout, I am in charge. I will have dominion because I meditate upon the word of God. I do that thing that God has ordained for me. I do that thing that God has set aside for me. I do that thing that God has executed for me as the template that I'm going forth with. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are we still trekking together? How are we doing for time? We're still good. As regarding the works of my hand, command ye me. Hallelujah. This is what the word of God says in the book of Isaiah chapter 4 verse 11. He says, as regards the works of my hand, command ye me. Hallelujah. God created all things on the earth, including me and you. He created us in his image and likeness. He created us with the same brain cells. He's created us with the same med we are moving forward with the mindset of God. We are moving forward being confident of this thing that we are made in the image and likeness of God. Anywhere we go, we are favored. When people look at us, they see the oil of gladness. When people look at us, they see the oil of grace. When people look at us, they see the oil of victory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anyone who is supposed to say no to you, when they look at you, the oil will speak for you. The oil of God, the oil of gladness the oil of joy. You are wearing a garment of favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As regards the works of the hand of God, of which you are part of, you are part of the handiwork of God. Do you understand that you were not manufactured in a plant that can burn down? Do you understand that you were manufactured in a plant that does not have any bacteria? Do you understand that you were manufactured in a plant that is progressive? You are always the latest model. You are always the latest operating system. The works of his hand are good. The works of his hand. He created you and he created everything on the earth that you see around yourself. He looked at it at the end of the seven days. He said, oh, it is good and it is perfect. This is what the Lord has said about you. He looked at you and he said, you are good and you are perfect. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Therefore, he says, the works of my hand of which you are part of, I will enhance you. I will empower you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am ready to command my week. Do I have witnesses in the house of God? In the name of Jesus, type that amen well. Somebody type that amen well. Type that amen well. Type that amen three times. When you are ready to go on, let me know. Type that amen three times so that I can see that you are ready to proceed. 
Father, my Father, I commit this week into your able hands. Take absolute control over it in Jesus' name. Type that amen three times. Type that amen three times. I see you. Anna, you are on point. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I said type that amen three times. The first amen is for God. The second amen is for the Holy Ghost. The third amen is for Jesus himself. He's the Lord and Savior of your life. He's the King of Kings who's in charge of your life. He's the one whose words will carry weight in any board meeting this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Shakari Abasunda. As we type that amen three times, oh God, we commit this week into your able hands. We say, take absolute control, oh God. We do not have the x ray vision to know what will happen on day three, but we know that, Lord, you have gone before us and you have opened the doors for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we declare and we decree that your grace is sufficient for every single person at the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ, in all the things that you will do in this week, I declare and I decree that the grace of God is sufficient for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that this week you will be kept by God. You will be protected in this week. You will not die. You will not be robbed. You will not be manipulated. You will not be verbalized or, 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 or emotionally abused. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that no evil shall prevail against you. No evil shall prevail against your life and the life of your family. No evil shall prevail against your destiny this week. In this week, I declare and I decree, as I look at you on this TikTok, I see you, Amelia. In the name of Jesus, I see you, Wanda. I see you, every single person on Facebook and on YouTube. I see you, and if I see you, the Lord is seeing you. He says there shall be no evil that prevails over your life in this week. In this week, the Lord says, I must tell you, you will sing victory songs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stand on Psalm 23, verse 1. I will sing victory songs in in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that the throne of God is established in your life in this week. The throne of God is established in your family in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, his kingdom will rule over every single area of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is in charge. He has put me in charge. He left me in charge. He said, be fruitful multiply and dominate replenish this is our instruction he left us in charge here he said be fruitful multiply replenish the earth dominate you are in charge can you tell your neighbor i'm in charge can you tell your neighbor i'm in charge in the name of jesus christ make sure you are typing that i'm in charge three times just in case the principalities of the evil side did not hear you the first time say i'm in charge i am in charge i am I am in charge. I am in charge. I declare that God's throne shall be established in your life in this week in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that you will speak the words of the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The words of God's glory will be full of your, in your mouth in this week. They are full in Jesus' name. I command peace and joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace and joy shall be established in your life. In in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in every aspect of your life, in every aspect of your family, peace and joy. Can we declare it together? Peace and joy. Peace and joy. Peace and joy. Wherever I go, peace and joy. Wherever I go, peace and joy. Favor, grace. Mention it. Whatever you wanted to fill your week, peace and joy, grace and favor, goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy are my middle name. Peace and joy are my middle name. Oh, the grace and favor of God is my middle name. In the name of Jesus. Father, as I rise and I stand here this morning in the gap and in agreement with everybody who's under the sound of my voice, I declare and I decree, Lord, they are raising their voices this morning to command their weak. They are saying, Lord, they reject and they renounce every single form of evil rule over their lives and destiny in this week in the name of Jesus. Did you catch that prayer point? Did you catch that declaration? I said, uh, we reject and we renounce every form of evil rule over our lives. We reject and we renounce every form of evil rule against our destiny in this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil 
evil shall not win. Evil shall not rule. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will deliver you from every evil work. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God will preserve you this week. You are preserved. You don't need any preservation juice. But the Lord himself, he said the anointing will preserve you. And I send you forth this week. Take charge. Take over. Multiply. Replenish the earth. Be fruitful. Multiply. Everything you do shall turn to gold. In the name of this, uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, this week I shall sleep and wake up and no one will make me afraid. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare it. You will not lose sleep this week. You will not be ten tossing and turning. We come against the spirit of insomnia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We come against the spirit of anxiety. We come against the spirit of depression. We will not be crying tears. Our pillowcases will not be wet with tears. If there are te tears that are wetting our pillowcases, it will be tears of joy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it will be tears of honor and reverence, knowing that you are in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes, Miss M, we reject every single form of evil rule. We renounce everything that is of evil. They will not rule us. They will not dominate us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will sleep well. You will not need to take sleeping tablets. In the name of Jesus Christ, I said, none shall make you afraid. No one is going to come and intimidate you. None shall make you afraid. In the name of Jesus, you want to know why? Because God says, I see you. And God says, I am with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, none shall make you afraid in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody make sure you are typing that amen well. Somebody tell your neighbor, no one can make me afraid. None shall make me afraid. None shall make me afraid. I go out as a lion. I'm in charge. In the name of Jesus. How am I doing for time? Mm. Oh, none shall make me afraid because God is with me. God is with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, I rise this morning to command my weak and they are commanding their weak as well, oh God. We declare and we decree and we stand together. We say every unrepentant enemy after our life, every person who is, uh, who is an enemy, who is unrepentant, who is after our destiny, they shall fall by their sword of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare then we decree it, Lord. We say every single enemy that is unrepentant, that does not want to back down, that does not want to back off, that does not want to remove their hands from our children, that does not want to remove their hands from our businesses, that does not want to remove their hands from our promotion, our careers, our placement, our rightful position of dominating, our rightful position of rulership. Father, they will fall by the sword. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we thank you. Is there somebody who's Typing that amen well, none shall make you afraid because you are in charge in this week. In the name of Jesus, we command that the ways of our hands, oh God, shall not lean on our own understanding, but we will lean on the understanding of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, every decision that you will take this week, it will be a base on the understanding and the wisdom of God. You will not miss it. You will make the right decisions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree right now at the sound of my voice, you are receiving the wisdom of understanding this week. You are receiving wisdom and understanding. Make sure you are typing that amen louder. Holy Spirit, God has favored you and will favor you. This week receive the wisdom of God. Who is here? Talk to me. Thelma, I declare and I decree that you are receiving the wisdom and understanding from God. In all your affairs this week, wisdom shall reign. Wisdom shall prevail in your decision. Understanding from the throne of grace of God shall prevail in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will keep watch over your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. As we declare and decree this next prayer, we are saying, oh God, keep watch over our mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, keep watch over our ears so that we are not hearing negative things. In the name of Jesus, keep watch over our heart so that we are not bruised, so that we are not weakened, so that we are not fickle, so that we do not become a, a, a timid, Lord. We are proceeding as lions, as giants 
giants of God taking over. Somebody type in the comment section. I'm in charge. Make sure you are tapping on that screen. We should already be on 10,000 likes. What are you doing, guys? Are you with me? Make sure you are making these declarations. In the name of Jesus, type that amen well. Wake up the entire TikTok. Wake up the entire Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you are thundering your amen. Make sure your amen speaks for you. Make sure your amen wakes up every single angel that is napping. Make sure your amen is thundering well and is making sure that your destiny helpers don't sleep on the job. This is Monday morning. We cannot afford to lose on the first day. We cannot afford to be relegated to the bench on the first day. We are not being relegated. We will always be in the field. We will be played. The coach is not taking you out. The coach is saying, I'm ready. Are you ready on my left? Are you ready on my right? Are you ready from the north, the east, the west, and the south? There is no distance in the spirit. Whatever country you are, you are, you are coming in from or you are tuning in from, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will keep watch over your thoughts. You will not think negative thoughts. You will think the thoughts that come from the mind of God, that, that come from the throne in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will keep watch over your imaginations this week. You will not wander about and wander and imagine things that are negative. Your thoughts will align with the will of God and the plan of God for your life. Your words will align with the will of God for your life. Your mouth, whatever comes out of your mouth, whatever you see, whatever you hear, will align with the will of God for your life. Somebody type that amen well. Talk to me, somebody. Father, we speak godly words in this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, you will satisfy us with the fruits of our, our week. Lord, we are taking over our benefits. This week shall be beneficial for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare that this week I'm receiving everything that is being held by whoever, wherever you are. Bring back my goods. I possess my possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. This week I receive everything, Lord, that any man or woman is, is holding that belongs to me in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Men are coming to give to my bosom. Men are looking for me to bless me. Men are looking for me to make sure that they bring what you have ordained them to bring. In the name of Jesus, my destiny helpers shall not be weakened. Bring back my possessions. Bring what the Lord has set aside for me. There are daily benefits that are being given to you in Monday. Whatever, if you don't collect what God gives you today, there is Tuesday, but make sure you collect today because if you don't collect your Monday, we will collect your Monday benefits. So make sure you are collecting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody type in that comment section. I'm in charge. Your thoughts. Yes, Pinky. You receive everything that the Lord has set aside for you. Everything plus interest collected, collected every single day. This week, it is an abundant week of harvest for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the abundant harvest of God from the north, from the west, the east, the south, whatever Whatever direction, Holy Spirit, let everything, every element on this earth that you have put me in charge with cooperate with the things that you have set aside for me, Lord. I am collecting an abundant harvest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare and I decree that every single man and woman who you, you have spoken to, Lord, they will bless me this week. All my destiny helpers, you will bless me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single man and woman that I will meet this week, they will be a blessing in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let those blessings be released to you right now. Somebody collect your blessings from God. Let those blessings be released to you right now. Somebody say, I receive. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the gates of this week. This one you need to take a special breath for. Talk to me, somebody. You need to speak to the gates of this week. This is Monday, God. YouTube, I'm telling you, you need to speak to your gates. Facebook, you need to speak to your gates. TikTok, are you ready to speak to your gates? In the name of Jesus, Father, we speak to the gates of this week. We command them to lift up their heads. In the name of Jesus, oh, let the King of glory come in through me in the name of Jesus. This week, the gates of this week are being lifted up so that the King of Glory can come in. And the King of Glory is coming on the Porsche driven by you. It is coming through. You are the conduit that will bring in the King of Glory. And when the King of Glory
glory comes in. You know that rulership comes in. Your dominion comes in. You are in charge. Everywhere the king passes, they roll out the red carpet. Everywhere the king goes, they want to bless the king. Everywhere the king steps into, people are looking to favor you. Do I have believers in the house? Somebody say, I receive. In the name of Jesus. I'm still okay for time. I still got 10 minutes, then I sign out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that this week shall be brighter. This week shall be better than the previous week. In the name of Jesus, type that amen well. I said, this week shall be brighter. This week shall be better. In the name of Jesus, Father, every gang up of hell against my life and destiny, this week, it is scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know where they are gathering. I don't know where they are ganging up. But this week, they will not touch my life. They will not touch my destiny. They will not touch the family's destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever they are gathered, wherever they are ganging up, they scatter right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Ore Shekilama Father God, rain your wrath against them. In the name of Jesus Christ, every single agent of the devil, the wrath of God will rain so hard on you. You will, you will regret even seeing me. You will regret even saying my name. Whenever the angels or the, or the agents of evil and darkness, they see you, they will have to change their direction. They cannot meet you face to face like this. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, every gang up is scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that your reign of wrath will visit every single evil agent of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that the moon, the sun, and the stars will stand still for your blessings upon my life to manifest in the name of Jesus. Can we declare that one together? Make sure you are saying it louder. Lord, my Father, my Father, in this week, I declare and I decree that the sun, the moon, and the stars will come to a standstill for your blessings to be made a manifest upon my life. Mako sheketa kaliaba so roko shoko tekiyama sande leke sheke liyama soto koriyama sonda. In this week, we declare that we are delivered from every single trap of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every noisome pestilence arraigned against my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is scattered. In the name of Jesus, koraba sonda liyama sonda lelebeche. Father, we declare, we decree that we dwell in your secret place and we are. Abide under the shadow of your wings. Therefore, no evil shall befall anybody who is at the sound of my voice. Type that amen well. If you can catch up with me in the name of Jesus. If you can't catch up with me, you can go watch me on replay. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I say it, receive it and, and type that amen. Make sure that amen is thundering. Make sure that amen cuts deeper. Make sure wherever they are gathered, they, when you say amen, they must be struck by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we dwell in the secret place. In the name of Jesus. We refuse to be afraid of any evil force, any wicked force of darkness. We refuse to be afraid of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Lord, you told us that you are our light and you are our salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. So we move with the strength of, of your light. We move with the strength of your salvation in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are typing that. Amen. Well, Father, in this week, I declare and I decree that we shall continually obtain your mercy. We shall continue to dwell in your favor. We shall continue to dwell in your presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this week, goodness and mercy are your companions every single day of the week. In the name of Jesus, by your light, oh God. Oh, Father, we declare we decree that we will be as a shining light. We will arise and shine. Everywhere we go, we are shining. We are favored. They are asking us, what is it about you? There is a glow about you. There is a glory about you. Everywhere you go, you will shine. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere you go, you will bring flavor and you will be favored. As you bring flavor as the salt, you are the spice that people have been waiting for. You are the solution that they've been waiting for. Mm. Your life will be favored in the name of Jesus Christ. And your life will be flavored in the name of Jesus. In this week, you will walk in mercy and truth in the name of Jesus. In this week, you will obtain favor. In this week, you are receiving good understanding in the sight of God and in the sight of men. In this week, every single association of the wicked against your life, against your work, against your finances, against your health. This week, it is broken. 
in the name of Jesus. Did you hear that prayer? Make sure you type that amen. In case you missed that amen, let me pray it for you. I said in this week, every association of the wicked that has been ganging up against your life, your finances, your health, your business, it is broken into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We rise to command the weak. We declare decree that we are in charge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We receive a mouth of wisdom. We receive a mouth and wisdom for, for, for to make sure that we deal with every single enemy, every single detractor. Anybody who is refusing our goods, we take possession of our benefits. God, load us with our benefits for today. Load us every single day of the week with our benefits. In the name of Jesus, we receive a mouth and wisdom, Lord, that, that any detractor or enemies that are trying to say no to us, anyone who is trying to resist our yeses and amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, they scatter. They gather to scatter. They will say yes, even when they were trying to say no. In the name of Jesus, Father, we receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that the spirit of revelation and wisdom that has come upon us this morning, Father, it will turn situations around. It will turn evil around. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare and we decree that we are seated in heavenly places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ this week. We are far above every attack of any principality in the name of Jesus. We are far above any attack of any powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By virtue of us being born again and children of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we walk with victory. Father God, nobody can touch us because we are untouchable. We are sitting right there in heavenly places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, we decree that every strange door of favor, it will open to me. Whenever they were trying to close it, oh God, they will just find themselves miraculously opening those doors for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, are we still together? Kasim, are you saying yes, Lord? Are you saying amen? Do you understand that? Connie, you need to type that amen well. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. As children of light, we declare we decree that we walk in the light of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, therefore, every darkness has to flee. We are walking in the light of God. We are the light of God. Every form of darkness has been dispelled against your life. In the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, thank you for making me in charge. Thank you, Lord, for choosing me faithful today. Thank you, Lord, for the protocol breaking prayers. Thank you, Lord, for this prayer altar that, oh God, we come against every form of evil darkness. In the name of Jesus, we declare that as a son of God, as a daughter of God, we receive and believe in your son, Jesus Christ. Therefore, we receive the power to overcome every single form of darkness, every single power of darkness. We rise and walk and, and take charge by virtue of the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. In this week, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we thank you. We declare, we decree, lines are falling unto us in pleasant places. We declare that we have a goodly heritage. We are being caused to walk into our wealthy place in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are declaring that. Tell him, he says, lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I am walking in the lines of wealth. I am, I'm, I am stumbling, I am walking into, I am, I don't know, I don't even know the English word, but you will collide with favor. You will collide with wealth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this week, you will walk into your wealthy place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the wisdom and knowledge. The Lord says in this week, as you command and you type that I'm in charge, he says that you will receive the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to direct your all your affairs. All your affairs are being directed in the right order. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, this week I declare every single person in the sound of my voice, they will increase in leaps and bounds in all their affairs in this week. If you believe it, shout a believing amen and clap hands for Jesus. Make sure you are typing that amen three times. Make sure you are typing that amen three times. Amen. 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 I will testify. Is there somebody who's ready to testify this morning? Somebody type in the comment section. Let's make sure. Get ready. I want you to take up a militant position. Military possession. As you are standing, if you are sitting, you, st you sit as a king. You sit as a boss. We are going to shout, I will testify. I will testify seven times. Are you ready? Ready on YouTube? 
ready on Facebook, ready on TikTok, Marwa official, ready for Chanel Online official. Kasha Kata Kandi Abasonda. I'm going to count you. Number one, I will testify. Are you ready? Ready, ready, go. I will testify. 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 I will testify in the name of Jesus. Karaba Sheke Diaba. Anna says, I'm not going to shout it too long, but I'm going to say time seven, time seven, time seven, time seven. You will testify, receive your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you for every single person that woke up this morning. They woke up to take charge of their life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, I thank you for having honored this meeting, oh God. Thank you for honoring our protocol breaking prayers. Thank you, Lord, for the testimonies that continue to happen and the, the, the inboxes that we are receiving, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as we have dedicated this week to you. We take authority over the week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare and we decree that we are in charge and we are in control. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you have given us authority and dominion against every evil program of the devil in this week. In this week, we will not miss our divine and appointed time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every single blessing that has been prepared for you this week, you will arise and you will locate it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even as this meeting closes, the thunder that will come from heaven will be there to echo that you are in charge. Anywhere you step into, in the name of Jesus Christ, breakthroughs abound from the left, the right, the center. Anywhere you go, breakthroughs will follow you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are typing your amen and make sure you have done your I will testify already. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are moving as a general on assignment. You are going to win every single battle in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I, I decree that you will succeed. You will not die in this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will hear the voice of God very clearly. Your mind will not be confused. Your mind will not be scattered. You will not eat the bread of sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any power that has been writing your name down for failure in this week, they will be disappointed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that has been writing you up for failure in this week, they will die for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, miracles will abound for you in Jesus' mighty name. Are you typing that amen? Make sure you are following the account that you are viewing me from. Make sure that if you're on TikTok, you also visit me on YouTube and on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, make sure that you are sending me your inboxes, your requests of prayers, you are, you are sending your testimonies. You can put your prayer requests or whatever it is that you are believing God for. On my first pin video, you write it just like that, declare it just like that, and I will be reading and praying with you, and we will be standing in agreement. If you are on this broadcast and you go into any of my videos and you see a prayer request, make sure you stand. Let me tell you a secret. Sometimes you need to step aside and Stop praying your own list. Pray the list of other people and see how God will overtake and God will just load you with benefits. Make sure you are following the host. Guys, are you following the host? I'm told that there's a little heart on TikTok next to my name. You click that thing and you just say, you want to be part of my team. You are not even paying anything for it. You just click there. Just be part of my team. I just want to know who's there so that I can know who are those who are part of the team so that we can be praying along together. In the name of Jesus, Father Christ, we thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you for every single person who's here. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Whatever they lay their hands on shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week, Lord, a mercy and goodness will carry them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Victoria Pinky, for joining the team. Thank you so much. I see you guys. I think as you click and you just say join team, you are part of the team because I need to raise intercessors who are also praying, people who are ready to take their life seriously. If you are ready to take your life seriously, on Maro Official, if you are on TikTok, go and click that, that heart shape. And if you are on YouTube, go and click that subscription button. It doesn't minus your data in any way whatsoever. If you are on Facebook for doc, uh, Dr. Maro, make sure you are following the new account. As you know that the previous account was hacked because people think that they will stop the gospel. They shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight we are back 10 p.m. South African Standard Time. We will be broadcasting again 10 p.m. South African Standard Time with Dr. Mara. Hallelujah. It is Monday Power Blast today in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree. Thank you so much, Bundle. Thank you so much for the gifts. Everybody, thank you for the partners, everything you are doing. Thank you for the love you send me. Thank you for those who are praying for me. Make sure you are clicking that button and you become part of the team. Every conspiracy that was 
assigned against you, today it fails in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we sign out and we say our goodbyes, YouTube, you will not be a victim. Facebook, you will not be a victim. I declare and I decree everybody who is seeing my face right now, you will be a victor in this week in Jesus' mighty name. This week shall operate at the frequency of victory for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you keep on following, I'm just saying my goodbyes now. I'm waiting to see who is following the host. I'm waiting to see who is joining that team. Click on that heart at the bot at the top there. If you're on TikTok, make sure you say join the team. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. May you receive opportunities. Let me see who's here and say my goodbyes. Caroline, God will favor you. Bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Sangelani, thank you so much. The Lord will make sure that you are moving at the right place and at the right time. Ovi, thank you so much for sending the likes. For the likes you have said every time you have tapped, every time you have typed that amen. Tobega, I see you happy. Thank you so much. Happy 23. As you are sending those gifts, may God replenish you. May God replenish you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that opportunities will locate you. Promotions will locate you. Who is here? Marco Rabasonda, Rachel Johnson. Thank you, Herbert, for your first gift. God bless you. May God increase you mightily. May favor locate you. May grace locate you. May promotion locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this week you will meet the right people at the right time that are going to release. Siabin Dovu, thank you so much. God bless you. Mm. Is somebody ready to meet the right people this week? As you type that amen, well, say your goodbyes. Tag somebody in the comment section and tell them it's your time to testify. Tag somebody and tell them it's my time to testify or it's your time. Be a blessing to somebody. Tag somebody. Actually become their friend. Tag them. Follow them. Become their friend and tell them, God bless you. It's your time to testify. Let your following them be a significant or signification. Yes, signification that you are standing in agreement with them. You are going to be standing in agreement with them. If you see somebody in the comment section, tag them, follow them and tag them and tell them it's your time to testify. Tag them, tell them it's your time to testify. It's your time to testify. It's your time to testify. Let them know that there's somebody who is interceding and saying, um, I agree with you. I know the Lord will make a way. Your week is blessed. You are in charge. You are in charge. As we part ways right now in the next one to two minutes, as you go to your respective homes or bed, hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for that blessing. Thank you. I receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Connie, you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever your name will be mentioned, it will be mentioned for favor. People will locate you and people will call you to important meetings, meetings in Jesus mighty name. You will experience overflow. Thank you so much. Happy God bless you. YouTube and Facebook. I love you. God bless bless you and goodbye for now. We'll see each other tomorrow, 5 a.m. Remember those who are joining our evening um, um, meeting, it's at 10 p.m. South African Standard Time. Hallelujah. On Mara Official as well. Amen and amen. God bless you. Good night um, and good morning. Sorry, I'm in South Africa, so I'm still in morning. God bless you. You are favored in Jesus' name.